The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, second canto, second chapter, text number five, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 5th of March, 1975, in New York, New York. Jirani kim pati na santi Jirani kim pati na santi Dishanti viksham Dishanti viksham Naivangri pa paribrita Naivangri pa paribrita Sarito pia shushyan Sarito pia shushyan Gudha gudha kim Gudha gudha kim Ajito vati no pasanan Ajito vati no pasanan Kasmat bhajanti kavayo Are there no torn clothes lying on the common road? Do the trees which exist for maintaining others no longer give alms and charity? Do the rivers being dried up no longer supply water to the thirsty? Are the caves of the mountains now closed? Or above all, does the Almighty Lord not protect the fully surrendered souls? Why then do the learned sages go to flatter those who are intoxicated by hard-earned wealth? Sukadeva Goswami was in renounced order of life from the very beginning of his life. As soon as he came out of the womb of his mother, he immediately left home. He was within the womb of his mother for sixteen years. So he was in favor of renounced order of life, Sukadeva Goswami. There was no question of his following the other ashramas. Generally, for ordinary men, there are four ashramas, eight ashramas. For social upkeep, there are four ashramas, namely Brahmachari, Grihastha, Banaprastha, Sanya. This is for spiritual. And for social, Brahman, Khatriya, Vaisya, and Shudra. This is social division. And there is spiritual division also. Because we are combination of matter and spirit. I am the soul. I am living within this material body. This is actual position. I am not this body. This is the beginning of spiritual education. That I am not this body. One who understands fully well that he is not this body, then the spiritual education begins. And so long we are in the bodily concept of life. There is no question of spiritual education. Spiritual education for whom? For the human being, also very advanced human being, not ordinary human being, at least the civilized. Therefore, in the human society, in the civilized human society, there is acceptance of a religious principle. Maybe it is Hindu religion or Muslim religion or Christian religion or Buddha religion, but there is some religion. A civilized society is not without religion. Without religion means animal society. The animals, they have no religion. Cats and dogs, they have no church, no temple that they have to go. It is for the human being. Therefore, Shastra says that Dharmena hina pasubhi samana. Even in the human society, there is no culture of religion. Then it is animal society. There is not human society. So the human society should be divided into eight divisions. That is, first class human society. Just like any organization, any establishment, there are divisions of labor. The 
board of directors there are, then the secretarial board, then ordinary clerks, then menials, then workers. There must be division. Otherwise it's chaotic. Nowhere you will find without division it is going on very smoothly. There must be division. Therefore Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Chatur Varnang Maya Sistam Gunakanma Vibhaga. So it is ordained by God that there should be four divisions for the materialistic condition of life and four divisions for spiritual upliftment. So there must be the Brahmana, Chatur Varnang Maya Sistam, Varna means four divisions of society. Varna means class. It has been taken now as caste. But actually class. Class is not caste. Caste, of course, throughout the whole world there is no such thing as caste. But anyway, in India there is caste. But Krishna says that chasu bannang maya system, four divisions of classes, I have created. Brahman, Khatriya, Vaishyasu. Who is a Brahman? That is also described in the Bhagavad Gita. Sattva, Samo, Dhamma, Tichikha, Arjava, Astikam, Jnanam, Vijnanam. So many qualifications required to become a Brahman. Not that because I am born in a Brahmana family. This is discussed in Srimad Bhagavatam that to take birth in a Brahmana family is not all. He must be qualified. That is required. The Indian culture has failed at the present moment because instead of considering the qualification, they accept only the birth. The birth in a Brahman family makes a man a Brahmin. No, that is not the Shastric Indian qualification. There must be qualification. So without such division, Therefore there is no such thing as Hindu dharma. No, there is no such word in the whole Vedic literature. You won't find in the Bhagavad Gita or Bhagavad as Hindu dharma. There is one word as Bhagavad dharma, but there is no such word as Hindu dharma. This Hindu dharma or Hindu, this is creation by your neva, Indian neva, the Middle East, Mahavadans, they gave the name Indian people as Hindu. Hindu means there is one river, Sindhu. The Mahavadans, they pronounce Sa as Ho. So those who are on the river side of the Sindhu river, Hindu river, they are called Hindus. But actually, Vedic religion is neither for Hindus, not for Christian, nor for. It is meant for the human being, Vedic literature. So, in the Vedic literature, this Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, they are Vedic literature. So, there is injunction for observing the rules and regulations of Varna and Asram. Four classes and four Asram. Asram means where spiritual cultivation is practiced. That is called asrama. So brahmachari, grihastha, vānaprastha and sannyāsa. So chatur varna and chatur asra, material and spiritual. So sannyāsa is supposed to be the, on the topmost of the human society. Chatur varna, first four classes, then among the varnas, there are four classes, brahmachari, grihastha, vānaprastha, and sannyas. So sannyas is the topmost order of human society. Here the Sukhdev Goswami is a sannyas. He is renounced order from the very beginning of his life. He never entered into any ashram or varna. He is paramahamsa. Paramahamsa means the topmost among the sannyasis. Sannyasi is the topmost. Among within the sannyasi, 
the paramahans is the strongest. The sannyasis are also, they are called kutiṣa, bahudā, paribhrājaka acārya, and paramahans. Kutiṣa means after accepting sannyas order, one has to accept the sannyas order. After grihastha, there is vāna-prastha, and then sannyas. Uh, Brahmachari, grihastha, vāna-prastha, sannyas. In the beginning, especially the brāhmaṇas and the kshatriyas, two classes, higher classes, they are to take sannyas. If not, at least the brāhmaṇas must take sannyas. The brāhmaṇas have got four ashrams, brahmacāri, grihastha, vāna-prastha, and sannyas. The kshatriyas have got three ashrams, brahmacāri, grihastha, vāna-prastha, no sannyas. And Vaishya, two ashrams, Brahmachari, Grihastha, neither Bhānaprastha nor Sanna. And the Sudras, they are simply one, Grihastha, that's all. This is the Vedic order. So, because it is very difficult to maintain Sanna in this age, therefore the Sanna order is completely prohibited. Real sannyāsī means here is the description of life. What is that? Chīrāṇī king napati They They have to pick up some torn cloth lying on the street and cover them. Then viṣanti bhikṣāṁ naivāṁ dhipā, angripā. Angri means legs and pā means drinking. The trees drink water through the root, that is their leg. Therefore their another name is Angripa. Pivati is the pa, and Angri means leg. So different species of life, there is different process of eating. We are eating through mouth. The trees are eating through the legs. This is God's creation. Not that the mouth is the only eating vehicle. No. There are other senses, active senses, hands and legs, tongue. These are active senses. Genital, rectum, these are active senses. So, angripa means trees. The sannyasi should depend completely on God. That is something. Not that I shall go to a rich man and beg something and take money and utilize it. No, that is not. Completely independent. Because that kind of sannyas is not possible at the present stage, therefore generally sannyas should not be accepted. They cannot follow the prohibited. But so far our Krishna consciousness movement is there. We are not like that Mahabadi sannyasi. Our sannyasi is completely devote life for serving Krishna. Sannyas. Sannyas means sat nash. Nash means to give up. And sat om tattva, the absolute truth. So for the service of the absolute Krishna, we give up our family life. A family life means to give up the whole world. Because people are struggling hard just to maintain the family. That is also stated in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Nidra Yati Naktam Babaya Nacha Babaya Viva Chati Hayarajan Kutumba Bhagani Nava. This is materialistic life. What is that? Uh, at night, Nidraya, if one can get the opportunity of sleeping twenty-four hours, he thinks he is very much gainer, especially on Sunday. <laughs> so this is material thing one too, it is gain. In Calcutta we have seen there are office peons, they take letters in peon book and those who have gone to Calcutta, there is a Dalhousie Square, there is downtown square. 
they will take the peon book and later come to the Dalhousie Square and lie down and sleep up to four o'clock. Then they will return to the office and if the master asking, why you are so late? Uh, no, this man was not there. I could not find. What can I do? I have to wait. <laughs> but he has spent his time by sleeping. So he thinks that I am getting so much salary. So if I do not work, if I sleep, that is my gain. That is extra profit. <laughs> so that is material life. So material life means nidya hyate inattam. At night they want to sleep as much as possible. Or those who have got facility, then they utilize sex life. Nidya hyate inattam bhavayanucha. Bhavayanu means sex. In this way wasting time. The whole twelve hours or ten hours wasted. And during daytime, Diva charte haya rajan. Diva cha arte yuhaya. Where is money? Where is money? Just like in your country. Then from early in the morning, 5.30, the road is congested. People are going to work in the Why? For seeking money, money. Where is money? Diva charte haya rajan. Then when he gets money, then spend it for sense gratification, for family maintenance. So in this way, materialistic person wastes their time, day and night. So where is time? Ask any materialistic person, why don't you come to our temple, sir? Why don't you hear Bhagavad Gita? We have no time because they are wasting time in that. Okay? So this is the materialistic life. And spiritualistic life means that one should be trained up as brahmachari, then regulated life in grihastha, regulated life. Grihastha is not bad. Family life is not bad. Therefore it is called grihastha ashram. Ashram means this very word is meant where the spiritual cultivation is practiced. That is called ashram. It may be Household life, it may be renowned sort of life, it may be brahmachari, student's life, or retired life. The spiritual culture must be there. That is human civilization. If there is no spiritual culture, that is not human society. There is animal society. The cats and dogs, they have no spiritual culture. So, in the spiritual culture, the renounced order should be. Only dedicated for the service of the Supreme Lord, not for taking easy money from others and utilize for sense gratification. That is not in our This is the purpose of this verse. If somebody says that if I do not get some money, then how I shall leave to answer this question? Sukhdev Goswami says, that why you are anxious for your maintenance? What do you want for your maintenance? I want an apartment. I want clothing. I want food. I want water. So many things. This is necessary. Therefore he says, all right, if you want cloth, then don't you find cloth, torn cloth thrown in the street? Chirani king napati don't you find? All right, I can collect, pick up some cloth. That's all right. Then where is my food? The Sukhde Goswami says, the naivang gripa aparabhita bhikshāgna dishanti The trees, formerly trees mean fruit trees. They used to go to jungle, mean there are enough fruits. Still there are so many uh, jungles. In Hawaii there are so many jungles. Enough food, mango, papaya, and many other, banana, then pineapple, guava, so many fruits. So going to the jungle means to be free from 
food problem. Then enough food. And then water. The water is river. That what he said. So it will be as a sun. Do you think that all the rivers are dried up? Enough water. Then you may say that I must require some pot to take the water. No, to take water like this. Then what shall I leave? Then you are Ruddha Guha Kim. Do you think all the caves of the mountain then are closed? There are many caves. If you want at all a shelter, they already there are natural rooms, apartments. You can live there. Ruddha Guha Kim. And above all, Sukhdev Goswami says, Kim Ajita Abhati no Pasanya. No Abhati. Upasanna. Upasanna means those who have served. Ajita. God's another name is Ajita. A means not. And Jita means conquer. Nobody can conquer God. That is God. God is never conquered by anyone. He conquers everyone. God is conquered by His devotee, not by the demons. The demons are conquered by God. But a devotee can conquer. Ajitopi, jitopi. Although God is ajita, He becomes jita, means conquered by His devotee. That is also stated. Sane sita suti gatam tanuvang manovi prayena ajitopi jitapasi stai stilakyam. This process we have introduced, opening center, that is the system, the spiritual, to here. Sane sthita suti gatam tanuvang manovi. Suti, suti means this ear. Or I listen. <coughs> Everyone may remain in his own position. It doesn't require to change. Just like one gentleman was asking whether for spiritual advancement one has to leave in the temple. I say, no, there is no such hard and fast rule that one should leave in the temple. He can leave anywhere. But the spiritual practices should be performed. Krishna never says that you leave in the temple or you uh, go to the jungle or Himalaya. Never said, you will never find in the Bhagavad Gita that Krishna says, Ujjum, that you give up this fighting and go to the jungle or to the Himalaya and become perfect person. No. Krishna says, Manmana Bhagavata Bhakta Madhijaji Mahanamaskur. You follow these things. Always think of me, Manmana. Madhubhakta, you become my devotee. Manmana, Bhagavan, Madhyaji, you are in me and offer your obediences and things. These four things. You can do anywhere. It doesn't matter. But you do all these things. Nartam Dhar Thakur says, Griheva bonete thako, hazurango bole thako. Either you remain as a grihastha with family, wife, children, it doesn't matter. Or either you live in the forest, that shannas is renounced. In whichever position you prefer, you can remain, but do these things. Manvana Bhagavan Bhakta Madhyadi So here Sutta Kusami advises, this is very important word. Kim Ajita na avati upasanyan ajita. The Supreme Lord, Krishna, He is maintaining everyone. Yoga Khemam Bahama. And He will not maintain a person who has fully surrendered to Him. No. How is it? Suppose a gentleman is maintaining so many other children and he does not maintain his own children. Surely he does. Therefore our principle should be, we should not think about our personal maintenance. We should dedicate our life for Krishna, and Krishna will take care of 
That should be the future. Don't be harassed thinking always how I shall maintain. That is not the problem. Maintenance is not problem. Real problem is how we shall be fully surrendered to Krishna. That is one. 